Hello guys, I'm Link from the Green Moose, and today I have a new series for you guys, and this is going to be a Thomcraft 3 tutorial series. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to get in Thomcraft, and I had a little bit of trouble finding some of the things I needed to. Um, I wanted to find some of the research things because I really didn't feel like guessing and checking, um, and I was unable to find that many. Actually, I didn't, for the research one, I, w I had to like go on to... I found Let's Plays that people were doing, that were doing either Feed the Beast or Thomcraft Let's Play, but, uh, that were survival, and I really felt like, um, they were good, but th I just felt like I need, there needed to be something that was just a straight-up tutorial on all that kind of stuff. It was really in-depth, so I'm gonna try to make this as in-depth as possible. Um, I'm not gonna be working with research, research notes today, I'm going to be working with the basics. And, <laughs> today, we have our... Our little golem worker, Bill, <laughs> he's part of, uh, this is, the golems are part of Thomcraft, and they're really cool. They do a lot of different things. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Come on, buddy. <laughs> uh, they're so cute, though. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I decided to do a Thomcraft 3 tutorial, and I hope it's helpful to you guys. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing, but today we're going to be working with the basics. So, the first thing that Thomcraft 3 is, that's in Thomcraft 3 that you'll probably notice first is uh, ores. There are these are infused stone, I think. Infused stone, yeah, I think they're called infused stone. Um, but there's different kinds. You have earth, the dull, the vis, the air, and the fire. Um, and those those all are very important. They have a lot of magical properties. This one not so much. This one has a lot. All of these guys have. That one doesn't have quite quite a lot, but, uh, it does have a lot of, um, the ma of the magic property, and the, this one has, this, this one has, a, uh, all the other ones have a, a little bit of each, but, um, yeah, th they're really, really helpful later on, but the first thing you're gonna need is you're going to need a wand, so, you need to make, the first wand you need to make is the wand of the apprentice, <laughs> I'm having a hard time talking, sorry, uh, so you need the wand of the apprentice, so, what you're gonna need is a gold nugget, a stick, and the air shard. So how you make this is you put the gold nugget in the bottom left, the stick in the middle, and the air shard in the top right. Now this can be any shard, any of the shards listed in uh, right here. You can replace the air shard for. I just used an air shard uh, just because I just randomly picked it and it was it worked. So I've tried all of them and they work. So don't worry about that. And now, the next thing we're going to need is a table. This is very important later on, and it does kind of look nice. I really like how it looks. It's got a darker texture of brown than any of the other blocks in um, in, in Minecraft or Feed the Beast. So it looks really nice. Any of the other, I think, I'm not sure if I said wood blocks, but any of the other wood blocks. Um, so yeah, that looks nice, and it's also very important. So what you need is two wooden planks and three oak slabs, and don't, worry about this order, it doesn't mean anything, I just kind of thought it looked cool. <laughs> so this is how you make it, you put uh, oak slabs on the side, or oak planks on the side, sorry, and wood slabs over the top, and it can be any type of wood, it doesn't have to be oak, I just chose oak because it's the simplest type of wood. Okay, next is, we're going to need to make the scribing tools. Now this is also important, it, use, it, it needs to be used to make the research table. So what you need is a glass bottle, a feather, or an ink sack. You can also use, I think, I can't remember what it's called, but there's another thing you can use. But um, I wouldn't. I don't think you can use that until later on in Thomcraft. So just use a glass bottle. But you can put a glass bottle, ink sack, and feather in a crafting table in any order, and it should work. From what I can tell, it works in any order. So whatever. So that's how you make the scribing tools. Now to make the research table, you need two tables. I don't know why I <laughs> spaced them out like that. And a scribing tool. So what you do is you go over here, and you right-click with the scribing tools. And you have your research table. Yeah. Bill's just kind of chilling over here. I'm going gonna, gonna to pick him up. I'm going to go sleep real fast. And then I'll, I'll talk about the research. Now, I kind of showed this off earlier, but these things have magical properties. Every block has some sort of magical property. Um, there are a few in Feed the Beast that don't, but for the most part, they all do. Um, so what you have to do is you have to put a piece of paper in here, and then... Um, if you hold shift, you can see the magical properties, but you can also see them by just putting them in here. But what you do is you click the, you put something in here, or you put multiple things in here, it doesn't really matter. Um, and you click the search thing, the, uh, 
magnifying glass, that's the word, and uh, it'll add more stuff. Now, I'm not going to get too, uh, too far into research because I'm going to do that in the next episode. But what you end up getting is a research note right here. And you can take that and you can use it. And you, if you right-click, you can put it in your Thaumonomicon. <laughs> it's the craziest name for a book I've ever heard. Um, now, the next desk thing, table thing, desk, whatever, <laughs> you're going to need to make is a uh, arcane work table, I think is what it's called. And if you right, you get the table and right-click it with the Wand of Apprentice, and you get your arcane work table. Now, this is used to craft some of the things you learn from the research. Now... As far as I'm aware, except for all the other other things I already showed, um, the stuff in Thomcraft is discovered from research and then used in an arcane work table. There's also another type of table that we're going to get in in the next episode, because you're going to have to do some... Actually, maybe not the next episode, because you're going to have to do some uh, research. So I'm probably going to do a few research episodes after the next one, and then we'll get into that table. So this these uh, wands use Vs. Now, Vs is the magical essence I guess you could describe it at, in um, Thomcraft, the magical force, whatever, that uh, is needed for crafting things. So say you had a recipe in here and you craft it, sometimes, or they will, other than the basic recipes, they will need, like say say this was a magical recipe, it would say something like this under it. So say like maybe it was 10 Vs. So it would say 10 Vs under this, and it would uh, drain your wand. Now, you do not need to charge your wand. It just automatically refills, so there's nothing wrong or no problem with that. But that's basically how you make stuff with the arcane work table. Now, the next thing is the crucible. And to make a crucible, you're going to need a cauldron, a lava bucket, and a wand of the apprentice. Now, I'm going to take this cauldron. There's already lava there, so I'm not going to place it. But what you have to do is you have to pl uh, place the lava under the, um, under the, actually, I'm going to need, no, I already have a bucket, under the, the, uh, cauldron. So you place the cauldron over it, and then you right-click it with the wand of the apprentice. Now, from research, you can craft things in, uh, the arcane work table, but there are some things you kind of, you have to throw into the cauldron. And to get, um, to get the, 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 things from the cauldron recipes, what you have to do is you have to get your water and fill it up. Now, this thing will begin to bubble after a short period of time. It doesn't really take that long, but um, what basically happens is in the Thaumonomicon, uh, you'll have something that shows the the magical essence of each thing, and I'll say how many you have to use. So say you had to put, like, I don't know, maybe you are going to make, like, an advanced snowball if that was a thing, <laughs> and you need two of the snow uh, essence. I can't remember what the, what, I don't, I actually don't know what the snow, the snow magic is called, but say you needed two, what you would do is you'd throw your two in there, and then you click on it with your, um, wand, and you get something out, but that's not an actual recipe, so that's not, that doesn't work, um, but, uh, there are ways to refill it each time, uh, instead of having to go get a bucket, you can use these golems, oh, I didn't put Bill back down, you can use golems, but there's certain golems that do certain things, um, and that's more advanced in Thomcraft, so I will not be getting into that, into this, or into that this episode, but I will in a future episode. So the last thing for getting into the basics of Thomcraft is the Thaumonomicon. Now, I already mentioned it, um, but basically you right-click on a bookcase and it uses, I think, was it 15? I think 15 Vs. I couldn't really tell, but um, this is where all your research comes into play. Uh, this... The first, one of the first things you're going to restart researching is the, this. This is the basic gold transmutation. So you can turn, I think it's two karas and one metallum into a few gold nuggets or something like that. And but these are the re this is the research table. We've already made that. Um, you're probably supposed to make this first, but I never did. It talks about infused ore, flux, which we'll get into later because we don't have to deal with this now. Aura, all this kind of stuff. Um, the aura is very strange. I'm not really sure exactly how this works, so I won't explain it. And then there's great wood trees and silver wood trees and shimmer leaves and cin uh, cinder pearls. These are really cool looking, and I will get into those next episode. Oh, glass file. This this was the thing that I didn't know how to craft, but th this is the other thing that you could make the scribing tools with. Uh, I think it does it show. Yeah, you can make it with a glass file too. There's not much else in here. Oh, it also talks about enchantments. There's a few new enchantments and knowledge fragments. Um, yeah. 
But I get these knowledge fragments do you can make research notes out of. Sometimes you can trade the Thomcraft villagers with them, and I can actually show you one of the Thomcraft villagers in this episode. I will I will cut the video after I'm done with this, and I'll show you what they look like. And they have their towers with stuff in them. So that's basically it for the Thomonomicon. So I'm going to go over to where I found a village. It's right over here, so I'm just going to cut. It's going to be a really quick cut uh, that has one of those, the Thom, I'm going to call it the Thom Villager. <laughs> I don't really know what it's called, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. Bill and I have traveled over to the village. It's really derpy, but it's kind of cool. I really like how it looks. It's just kind of, these, these towers of dirt are a little bit strange, but it's pretty cool in general. There's some villagers up there and down here, but this is the Thomcraft Tower for the village. And this is the Thom Villager. I don't really know what he's called, like I already said. But this one wants three bookshelves for a knowledge fragment. I think you can also trade knowledge fragments for um, certain things as well. It just depends on the villager. But there's some of these things. I can't remember what they're called. I think it's Circle Stone. But these towers are very cool. There, there's not, It's not like there's nothing in there. There's actually a chest in here. I don't think I took the stuff out of it. Um, but this is... This is what came in. I think there might have been a knowledge fragment that I took. I can't remember. But you got niter, thomium ingot, um, glowstone. But these are actually, if you find these, these are very helpful for uh, finding the research for certain things. These, they tell you most of the things, or most of the things that need to be in the research note. Uh, but I do kind of want to show off the niter. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, so that's what that looks like. It's just like a flame ball. And the thomium can be used for uh, armor and swords and shovels and axes and pickaxes, tools and stuff. I left Bill outside. Dang it. <laughs> so that's basically it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I, hope it, I hope it's been helpful. I really want to keep doing these just so um, so you guys know what's going on with Thomcraft. So, uh, because like I said, I was having trouble at first figuring stuff out because I wasn't finding any super in-depth videos that weren't Let's Play is talking about how to cra or get the research notes. So I'm going to be doing research notes stuff too. I'm going to go through every single one of them if I can. I'm not going to spam your sub box if you're subscribed to me with them. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do multiple things because there are... Here, let me get the thumb up. There are multiple transmutations right here. There's a ton of them. They're not shown. But I'm going to probably do all the transmutations in one episode. This is all going to be for Feed the Bees because... I don't, there's no tin and copper and that kind of stuff in vanilla, so I think you can only you might only be able to do gold and iron vanilla. I'm not really too sure, but this is going to be uh, specifically for f the feed the beast version. Uh, it should still work in the vanilla if you're just using Thomcraft though. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and um, I've been Link from the Green Moose. And oh no, there's a double bill. <laughs> I've been Link from the Green Moose, your orange sheep person of death <laughs> with goggles, and we've got Bill. Want to say goodbye, Bill? No. Okay. What a jerk. He turns his back on us. Wow, okay. So thank you all for watching. I hope this has helped, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.